everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my first update for my Pan That Palette this year. Um, as you know, I am actually doing two Pan That Palettes. I am doing one on my own, just a palette that I really wanted to work on this year. That is what this update is for. And I am also doing a Pan That Palette with the Pantastic Ladies with their theme this year. And um, yeah, I just, I really, really wanted to work on this palette, the Carly Bible original palette from BH Cosmetics. Um, I've had this in my collection forever and only one shadow I used twice of the whole palette for as long as I've had it, which yeah, it's been a long, long time. So it was virtually brand new minus, like I said, one shadow used twice. And um, I am going to show you where I was in the intro. And this is where my palette is right now. Look at the pans. Yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this palette. As you can see, this shadow was untouched when I brought it in. And I have like serious, massive pan in that one. Um, I, I just, I, I'm kind of blown away. I really like the formula. It, it is a softer formula. Um, it gives a little kick up, but I'm one of those people that um, I don't waste like the kick up. I, I like gently touch and tap and... Um, try to use it the best that I can because I don't want to waste any of it. I love the formula and the colors and everything in this palette. So yeah, I'm being very gentle with that one. So um, yeah, my prediction is that this is going to be gone by the next update. I, I just, I can't imagine. I mean, if you look really close, that is massive, massive pan. This is starting to get much thinner over here. So I have mostly that. I really think I can have this one done by the next update. If I if I am not completely there, it's gonna be so close that it would be like a matter of days and I would finish it. All right, as you can see, this shade right here, um, I've got nice pan, side pan and everything right there. This is the only shade that I had used prior to um, starting this pan that palette. And I'm pretty happy with it. I actually do have that on um, my lids today. I love it. It is a like a nice cooler toned champagne color, if that makes any sense. Um, I just, I really enjoy it. I think it pairs with pretty much anything. Um, I do have like a tiny little dip. I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera on this shade here. And a little dip in this shade here. And like, you can see that I've used this shade, but not really anything to write home about. Um, let's see, I haven't touched this shade at all. It's like, I like it, I just haven't used it because I've been concentrating on some of the other stuff here. Um, this shade right here has like a tiny little dip there. Nothing amazing. I've basically only swatched this shade right here. That These two, I am just not focused on at all right now. Um, you can see a little bit of usage up here. And look, bam, in the dark matte brown, I have pan. And the reason I have pan on this dark matte brown is because I do use it in my brows, but I also use it in like my crease, outer V, anything to like deepen up the look. Um, it's a very versatile use kind of color. So um, that one's definitely gotten some priority. As for the highlighters, I attempted this pinky one twice. It is way, way, way too light for my skin tone. Um, I've tried using like the lightest touch possible and it just, I feel like um, it, it looks white on my skin. I, and I don't know if it's because I have natural olive skin tone. I, I'm not sure, it, I don't like it on my skin. Um, so it is either going to get used as an eyeshadow, um, like when it's warmer out, I might use it to highlight like my shoulders and my collarbones. I might franken a little bit with like one of the darker shades because these two are definitely too dark for me. <clears throat> this one, I might be able to, like when I'm at my darkest in the summer, I might be able to use that one. Well, we'll see. I'm not really sure. I'm, uh, not holding out hope for it, but we will see what happens with that. I kind of have a feeling that um, these three are going to get used as um, as eyeshadows. And this one right here, the second one in the palette, uh, I, I've got like some usage showing. The imprint, the stamping or whatever is almost gone on that. And um, let me turn it this way. 
you can see that there is definitely some usage up in this area, the way my brush hits it. I really like that shade a whole lot. It reminds me a whole lot of like this shade right here. I mean, they're not identical, but they're very similar. And I'm just I'm loving it. I really am. I'm living for this palette right now. And I am so glad that I stuck to my guns. I've had other people, you know, say, oh, no, do this one or do that one or whatever. And um, I had like some ideas of things that I wanted to work on, which is why, you know, I, I asked for people's opinions. But I really kind of thought in the back of my mind that this is one that I knew I was going to enjoy. And, you know, I, I, I don't want to say that I hate pan things. Sometimes I do pan things that I'm not in love with. And I really, like, I could take it or leave it is how I feel about some things that I pan. But this, I just, I, I just love it so much. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm really enjoying this palette. And I am happy, happy to be working on something that I enjoy this year. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty ecstatic with where I am. Um, all right, goals. I need goals because, you know, that's just, that's how I roll. Uh, yeah, my goal obviously is going to be finishing this matte cream right here. I will use this. I'm not going to focus on it as much. Um, with a brown, I just, I'm just going to use it because, um, like I said, it's for my brows. I use it to deepen up, um, like the outer V sometimes. That's just going to get natural use. Um, kind of like the, the matte cream does. So I need, like... I'm not going to set goals on the highlighters because yeah, I'm just, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to keep using this, the second shade here, but I need goals on some of this other stuff. So you're going to think I'm nuts, but you know, I hit three pans in the first month. I want to hit pan on this light gold shade right here. Um, I want to hit pan on these two shades here and maybe like if I, if I don't hit pan in this, like dark coppery shade I would like to make it um like a huge dent in it so at least three pans one two three and major usage if not pan in that fourth one um I know it's a lofty goal um I'm, I'm shooting for the one finished and the four pans but if I finish one hit three pans and have major usage I will live with that I will be a-okay with it I feel like um I feel like I have a good dip like in this shade right here. I, I don't foresee that being a problem to hit pan in. And um, like the shimmers, I don't know. I feel like um, for me, most shimmers are pretty easy to hit pan in. I mean, not like I can hit them in a week or anything, but um, most of them I feel like are a little bit softer packed than like their matte counterparts. So I feel, I feel okay about hitting pan in those. So my goals, finish one, pan in three to four. I think that is uh, a pretty good uh, goal for the next month, especially since it's going to be a short month. But again, I am filming this just a little bit early because I need to spend some time continuing to work on my inventory. Uh, it is it is coming for you guys. I swear it is. Um, my nail category is the one that's coming up next, and that is the big holdup because... I am a licensed nail tech and I'm kind of deciding, do I just want to do like the polish and the regular stuff that normal people have? Or do I want to inventory and take pictures of everything that I have? I don't know. I would love your opinions, even though um, my inventory people might not even be watching this. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I'm kind of curious. And let me know what you think about this palette that I have going on here. I feel pretty darn good about it. I do not think it's going to take me the whole year, except for the highlighters. I think the eyeshadows will be done um, well before the end of the year. That's just my my like prediction. We'll see what happens. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.